If you want to be a good person and you want to go to Jannah, all you have to do is have Iman and be good. Not according to the surah. This surah says everybody's going to be in loss. Everybody's in loss except people who do four things. Not two things, four things. Two things would have been they have Iman and they do good. Good enough. No, Allah says not good enough. He says, وَتَوَاصَوْ بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْ بِالصَّبْرِ Let me put it in very simple words for you. If your teacher said, do these four assignments and you'll pass. And you do two of them really well and the other two you didn't even touch. And when the report day comes, you hand in two assignments and he says, where's, where's the other two? He says, well, no, I did really good on these two though. These two, I, I was amazing. These are, check these out. These are both A's, guaranteed. Yep, A, A, and an F and an F, yes? That's still an F, isn't it? Because you didn't finish all four assignments. This surah says, you will fail, I will fail if we don't fulfill four assignments. The first of them is to look at things from the point of view of Iman. The second, our course of action, what we do, has to be determined by that Iman. What is that Iman making you do? Are your actions protecting your Iman? Or are your actions destroying your Iman? What actions are you taking? وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحِ Sulah actually means to fix something. And the first thing we're fixing is the state of our hearts. Salah is amal salih. It's a good deed, right? But it's not just amal khair. It's salih. What that means is, I make salah and it fixes my iman a little bit. I give zakah and it fixes my greed. It fixes my iman a little bit. Every good deed actually fixes the state of our hearts too. It does something for ourselves. But then the third condition is wa tawasaw bil haqq. And they counsel each other, advise each other. Tawasi can also mean they compel each other encourage each other, strongly urge each other to be truthful and to the truth. In other words, when they give each other advice, they say what's true. They're real. We don't tell each other what we want to hear. You have to sometimes tell somebody something that's going to hurt their feelings. But it's true. They need to hear it. But it's going to hurt their feelings. So now you have to decide, do I want to hurt their feelings or do I want to stick to telling them the truth? And by the way, the way to tell the truth is lovingly. And that's inside the word wasiyah. So it's not like, by the way, you're haram, everything you do is haram, you're going to hell. I just had to do tawasi bil haqq, salamu alaykum. No, that's not tawasi bil haqq. Tawasi bil haqq actually means a loving, counseling way of telling someone, but still telling them the truth. The truth is that you can't bend the truth because you feel bad for somebody or you feel bad for yourself. You, can't, you and I can't get offended when somebody else gives us a truth about ourselves. Sometimes we mess up. And somebody tells us the truth about ourselves. And we have to look in the mirror and say, you're right. That is messed up. I have to acknowledge that. And thank you for giving me that truth. Because if I didn't acknowledge that, I wouldn't do amal salih. I wouldn't fix it. And if I don't fix it, then I can't help my iman. Everything goes backwards again. It spirals back to the first thing. You have to preserve our iman. If we don't preserve our faith, our iman, then everything is lost. So telling each other, counseling each other to the right thing. You know, just among friends, one of your friends is about to do something bad and they're encouraging you to join. Instead of you being, yeah man, let's do it. You should be the one that says, no man, we're, we're not going to do that. And you're not going to do it either. I'm not going to let you, you know and I know, we both know it's wrong. And they say, come on man, just, can we just have a little bit of fun sometimes? Can you just chill out? Take it easy. Why are you all Islamic all the time? And they might want to make you slip from counseling to the truth, but you still respectfully, lovingly, committed, you still say what's right is always going to be right, whether I like it or you like it or not. What's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. That's the wasib al haqq But it's not easy, right? Because doing the right thing can be very painful sometimes. If you know you have to do something to protect your iman, or you know in your heart you got to do something right, but to do that, you have to go through some painful steps. You have to sacrifice either something you wanted, or you have to sacrifice something somebody else wanted. Somebody's gonna get hurt when you do the right thing. When you do the right thing, when you step out of wrong into right, somebody will be offended, somebody will be hurt, somebody will be injured, including yourself. It just comes with the package. And when the pain hits, when you change course and you go towards the right direction and the pain hits, when that pain hits, you feel like, I don't think I can handle this pain, I'm gonna step back and go back to my comfort zone. And that's when the only way we are going to save each other is we remind each other to stay strong and hold on and push through and keep going. We counsel each other with perseverance. We persevere through. If we don't do that for each other, then all of us are in a state of loss. These four conditions are really a worldview.
This is how a believer lives their life. And it doesn't mean that if you don't have a Facebook Live page where you're giving a khutbah to thousands of people, or the few of you that are sitting here, that you can't do tawasi bil haq. Tawasi bil haq can be inside your family. It could be among your friends. It could even be to yourself. Maybe you're not being true to yourself. And you have to counsel yourself to be strong enough if nobody else is around. But if we don't do that, then we are definitely in a state of loss. Even if you stocked up on all the groceries and you got everything taken care of, you're still in a state of loss. I'm still in a state of loss. May Allah Azza wa preserve all of us, our children, our elderly, the sick. May Allah Azza wa give healing to those that are suffering. May Allah make the situation for everybody who's been affected by this or any other trial easy for them. And most of all, through any of these trials, may Allah Azza wa make us of those who are able to preserve their iman. 